Hello, hello everybody. It's Derek Freese, and here's this 1987 View Fan Spinner. And, well, I just stepped on some metal. Um, in the white finished, it's the third six inch model. Um, and I don't really have much to say. Um, this is identical to the one in my kitchen. I think the one in my kitchen is also 87. This one was made in February. Um, mine was Kmart branded, at least the box was. The fan itself didn't have any mention of Kmart on it at all. It just said view fan, um, pretty much just like this one. So I'm going to guess this also came from a Kmart. Um, my friend uh, got this at the Habitat Inn on donation. Um, he paid a dollar for it. Uh, I thought this fan was just really dirty and it needed to be cleaned up, but it's actually pretty rough. It had a light kit on it. I actually have it right here. And I think this fan was installed uh, either outside on a porch or in a garage, just judging by all the rust on it. Because the fan is really rusty, but it's only on the top side, like the top side of the blade brackets, um, the top of the motor, and the top of the switch cup. They're all rusty. And then this is what the light kit looks like, if you can see that. Would have been an antique brass light kit. Uh, the pole chain on it shot. Um, now there was two of these there. There's another one just like this, but it was really nice looking and minty, but they wanted 25 beans for it. And I, I, I just couldn't justify spending that much on a fan. That one I think had a few like, yeah, that one I think had like stars on the blades at one point. So there was kind of like residue and stuff. And I want, I wanted a fan pretty good. Now I would have bought that one if it was like $10 though. So. Um, but I, just looking at the condition of this one, I would probably expect this to go to the scrap and not get put out to be resold. So, see this one, actually, at least being able to save it was pretty nice. Um, this is just like the one in the kitchen. I'll put, I'm going to do low speed on it first on the Menards uh, turn the century industrial controller. It's a five speed capacitor based choke style control. I really like this control, but I found out that it doesn't really have the best range of speeds on the lower settings, which I'm not too fond of. So here's this low speed. I'll also do factory speeds later in the video. And just like the one in the kitchen, the bearings in this one are just bad. So I guess if they're sitting in the box for 30 years, and if they're installed for 30 years, they're just gonna both have really nasty bearing noises um so i'm gonna do the plan b with this and i'm gonna put this up in the attic above the garage i have to find another light kit or something i'll probably cobble together a light kit just to use on this for the time being um just something to have up there for extra light and air movement now i'm gonna need to get a longer down route on this because the down route on this is a bit shorter than the heritage furnace not to mention the blades on this are pointed upward like a fasco um that was kind of i think that's kind of the issue with the one in the kitchen i might at some point in time i might either flip the blades upside down or bend the blades downward and see if that helps with the airflow on the kitchen fan i'll have to check that out but just a little quirk about this Now, my friend didn't tell me if this one and the other one that they had for sale came from the same house. I would expect so. I could see this being installed on like a screened-in porch, and then the other one being installed in like a kid's bedroom, since it did have the, I would presume it had glow-in-the-dark stars uh, taped to the blades. So this is the uh, low-speed, medium-low. This is the medium. And I'll just say on it, it I, I'm not too impressed with this fan, with the air movement. Um, I was testing it out earlier with the uh, ceiling fans running, so maybe that's why. I feel a bit of a gust, but this is pretty much just a backed off high speed, at least with this control it is. And yeah, it feels okay. Like underneath it, I feel, I feel a pretty okay breeze. This would be good for a small bedroom, I think, but not the kitchen where I want a lot of airflow. And it's kind of standing over here off to the side. I can feel air, but it's mostly towards the lower half of my body. Like kind of pretty much my torso downward. At least where my shorts uh, pretty much stop. That's where I can feel it. I feel a bit in my arms too, my hands and stuff. So I, I guess it is. It, it, 
I'm just like, it's also gonna be an interesting test to see how this performs like this with the um, blades that are ang angled upward. I'm gonna skip medium high and go right to high on this control. Still speeding up. The bearings on this are really noisy. It has a bit of a bearing crunch too from time to time. Uh, I'm gonna, I might try putting some viscous oil into the top, for, like what I did with my uh, Casablanca Victorian. Um, that fixed that fan up pretty good, despite other people saying that that was a bad idea. It's been going for um, a good six, seven, eight months maybe, I don't know. I installed it back in January, so. It's been running since like early January, so I put it up after New Year's. I can feel a breeze from over here. It's okay, it's not the best thing ever though. I've been kind of spoiled recently by uh, Casablancas and Sleeper Hunters. I've not really been finding anything that's like super impressive, so I guess this is good. I got this the same day I got that, uh, I know I can't remember what it's called. It's not a, uh, Sea Air. Somewhat, there, there's another brand, I think it's like a Hunter Cabana or something, but it's pretty much a Sea Air with different blade brackets. And it's pretty nice, I guess. We'll go down to, uh, medium. It's in balance, too, which is pretty nice. I'd expect of how this was just packaged in the box. Actually, I'm standing up here on the staircase, and the blades look like they're in clock, too. That's actually a surprising one. I've not had a fan in a long time that had all of its blades in clock. Even that one Hunter I just got that was in, like, really good condition. That Hunter Cabana or whatever the heck it was I was just mentioning. The blades on that were, like... They, they weren't perfect, but they were still pretty out of clock. Now, this fan is somewhat close to the ceiling, so I guess it has, like, the advantage, uh, I mean, the disadvantage of air movement. Fair noise is what it is out on this, though. And then we'll go down to low. Normally, I go low to high. This is a pretty nice low speed. I like this. It's nice and slow. It's nice to see that the capacitor hasn't drifted after all these years. I had the switch cup off to take the light kit out, and it was surprisingly clean in there. Uh, it still had the nice uh, fresh paint on it, unlike the uh, unlike uh, the rest of the fan. Actually, I found it interesting that the inside was painted. The one in my kitchen uh, was not painted on the inside. That might just be because of the finish, because I think the finish is kind of like a rubbed on type finish, uh, where on this fan it's just actually painted. I remember several years ago at a flea market, there was one of these new in box in brown, so if I would have picked that up, I would have all the finishes of these. There might also be a white and polished brass version, which would look pretty much identical to this, but it would have brass blade brackets, I would expect. But I, I don't know if that exists or not. I'm not too knowledgeable in these things. It is reversible. So for like kind of a cheap no frills fan of the time, I would expect, I would, um, that would be kind of a nice plus for it. A lot of the times these little 36 inch spinner fans of the 80s were not reversible. Maybe because this was made in the later 80s it was, but I know late 70s going into the 80s when ceiling fans were a fad. Um, they weren't very, they didn't really have any uh, special features like that. I'm gonna turn it off. I don't know if I ever actually did an unboxing video of the one in the kitchen because it was new old stock. I have the box for it still. I think I said it already in this video. But that one's Kmart branded. At least the box was, but on the top of the fan there was still a sticker that said view fan just like this one. So chances are this one was also Kmart branded. I don't know if I ever said this with the kitchen fan, 
but I will say it with this one, the blade brackets, they're of a very thick steel. Um, a lot of the weight on the blades is just those, and these are, these have the hard wooden blades on it too, but one of the blades was pitched a bit, was pitched a bit more than the other, so when I was bending it back, I was kind of surprised by that. Yeah, so it's a really quick spin down. I'll remove the camera so we can have a look if I can even do that. I'll actually switch it to low and then turn it back on again. But there's a look at it. Get up here on the mower. Oops. Ugh. You can kind of see the top of it. I don't know what information you can see on there. Yeah, this is all bent up. I like the motors on these. They look like little industrials, especially the white ones. The blades have a good bit of pitch to them. Actually, we'll run it on reverse for this just in case if someone wants to see it spin the other direction the reverse switch was a bit dodgy and down track but it worked fine in the uh reverse i i do really like these small spinner fans i think they're really classy i could imagine walking into like a uh, supermarket and they would have one of these in, like, the foyer area. Like an old, unremodeled supermarket. I could see several of these installed in a laundromat. Um, probably in a row down the center. Um, could see brass ones, if there was such a thing. I don't know if there... I don't recall there being a polished brass version. But if there was, I could see polished brass uh, versions of these installed in, like, a subway these are just, these are really, like, little classy fans. I really like them. And something like this would probably still sell to this day with, uh, like, probably, like, an integrated globe light and, like, no stencil. So I know people, they don't like the stencil. Maybe swap that gold line out with, like, a silver one. Like a chrome. I don't think they make any more of these uh, exposed spinners like this. I believe Encon discontinued, well not Encon, I believe Westinghouse discontinued the Princess not too long ago. Have a look at it from up here. I really like this from this angle. I was kind of admiring it earlier in the video. You can see how those blades are angled upward. I had kind of a hard time showing it off on the one in my kitchen. I just think that's super cool how they're like that. It's one of my favorite features. I don't know what the effect of it is. I'm going to guess maybe so the air doesn't go straight down, but it goes out to the side. On the Kmart one I have, they didn't market that on the box, so I don't know if it's some special... I, I, I doubt it's some like special feature. Um... Because I know Fasco, their fans had that, and they would advertise that, I believe, to, like, have better air distribution. Which I do kind of get a bit of that effect on the one in the kitchen. So, there's this little 36-inch view fan spinner. One of my favorites now. Um, I wish it was in a bit better condition. I'd say I'll still like the one in the kitchen a bit more. I had to come in here and get a drink, so I might as well show this off again. It's on high speed. So, yeah, the performance on this one isn't nearly as bad as I remember. Underneath it, you don't really feel anything. This one moves the air more outward. One of my favorite installs in the house, actually. Just wish it fit a bit better.